Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this really lovely bridge fold card. I've just made this during my Facebook Live, so I thought I would get straight on to making the second one for YouTube, and I just adore it. I'm not sure if I can part with this one, so that's why I'm going to make one exactly the same so I can give that one away, and I think I'm just going to keep this one on display this Christmas and maybe give it to somebody next year. But if you're unfamiliar with a bridge fold card, this is how they look. They're very easy. This is actually an acetate bridge fold, so it has that sheet of acetate right across the front so it gives the illusion of whatever you put on it is kind of floating or flying in my case because I've got the snowman and I've got that lovely Christmas at the bottom there or Merry Christmas which I've heat embossed and that's cut from glitter card and then you've got those lovely little critters there. The whole thing folds flat. This is slightly bigger size. This is six by eight. However, this playlist up here will take you to the smaller size bridge fold cards that I've got. So try those out. I've got a five by seven, six by six. And um, yeah, you can still take this kind of effect and put it onto that smaller size. Lots of space on the back to write your message. So let's make it. Okay, so I've used bits and pieces here. I've used the Bright Rosa Snowflake border set. This unfortunately isn't available anymore, but any snowflakes, and again, you might not be doing my kind of scene anyway. Then for the Christmas, I've used my chunky alphabet die set. And then for the Mary, I've just pulled this one out here, which is from a hobby art. And then these are the stamps. So I've used a bit from everything. So I've used the, the main image, the hair and the owl. Again, these ones I brought back in November last year at a craft fair or craft show, so I'll see if I can find any links. And then I've used the fox here, but look at all these other ones you've got. Really, really nice. For the glitter here, this is self-adhesive glitter, so it's the Dovecraft A5 adhesive glitter card. And again, I'll link that. It's lovely. We've got all these different packs here, so I've just pulled the silver. And then for that gorgeous background, which everybody loves, it's my paper pad here, which is the, from the Perfect Pop-Ups. But you've got all these lovely scenes. I've already used all of that one up. I've used my red up. I've used most of my candy cane. I've got these ones left and I'm nearly down now to the last few of this one. So here it is. I've already cut it all. I've already coloured all these. If you want to see me colour these, I've done all that during the Facebook Live. And I'll link that below in the description box. Okay, so to make this larger 6 by 8 size, that's for the envelope as well. I'll show you that at the end. So you want a piece here that's 10 by 6. Okay, so 10 inches long, 6 inches wide. And all you want to do is score along the 10 inch side. You're going to score at 1 inch, 2 inch, and then 8 and 9. Okay, that's all you need to do. That's all the scoring for the whole card. This then is the strip that I've got the Christmas um, stuck on, and this is eight by one and a half. The width, you need it to be eight if that's the size card you've made. However, the height of this can be whatever you want, okay? And then the pattern paper here. What I've done is I've cut this. This is the whole width of the eight inch. It's an eight by eight paper pad, but I've taken the whole eight inches width, and all I've done is just taken a little bit off of the the, the scene at the top because the sentiments covering this I didn't want to lose any of the trees so these pieces are going to cover the two sides and these these are one by six and then this piece to go in the middle is five and seven eighths of an inch I've brought it in slightly because it, it will buckle when the card folds otherwise so just bring it in a little bit across the width five and seven eighths but the height is the full six inches of the card okay so that's all of your pieces. Okay, so first of all, you just want to fold and burnish these score lines. So if you, what you might want to do, actually, again, because I don't want anybody having any card cracking, if I just quickly show you here, if you've scored at one, okay, you scored at one and then two, if you flip it over and score the two again, only the two, okay, and also the eight, just on that back side and what that will do is it will help because what you're you're actually going to fold these slightly differently so that you've got the one and the two the two inch you want to create a valley fold and then that one inch is going to be a mountain okay so you can see we folded one this way and one that way but because we've just scored on the back of the two inch one you shouldn't get any cracking so again on this side the two inch one or the eight is going to be a, a valley and then that nine inch one will become a mountain. So that is now the, the, the card shape that you'll have. And what will happen is it will fold flat like that and that gives you your eight by six card size, okay? So next I'm gonna stick this piece down. So you'll see there, because we've come in at five and seven eighths, it, it, you know, it doesn't kind of catch on the sides. So just worth taking that little bit off just for a nicer finish. So I'm going to use the Kalau glue here so it gives it lots of strength. 
and then I'm just going to pop that one down inside there. Then I've got a piece of acetate and this is six by eight and this acetate is going to sit along the whole front of the card when it's in that 3D form. Okay. Now the easiest way to stick the acetate down is by using red tape or double sided it will be fine but I've got the red tape here. Now because this is one inch wide these sections and this is a half inch red tape I only need to do two strips on each side and that will cover that whole section. And whenever you're using the red tape just go over it and make sure you push all the air bubbles out. It will go much darker in colour and that means it's completely stuck to your cardstock. Like so. What I'm going to do is take one end off first of all, so I'm just going to do, make sure it's the right way up, so I'm going to do the left hand side first of all, okay, and then grab your acetate and just line it up like so, make sure it's stuck down, and then if you fold this one over, you're then going to stick the acetate down over the top of this side here. So again, I'm just going to. You don't have to add the acetate as well. That you know, it's completely optional. It's just because I'm sticking things onto the front. But now, if you kind of roll the acetate, keeping this all flat, and then lay that down. That way, you know it's going to fit in your envelope. And then, if you do have any acetate overhanging, I've got a tiny bit. Turn the card over and just cut that overhang away. But now you can start to see, there you go, get a better view of the, the acetate. Okay, so now I want to cover the acetate with these strips here. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna lay it down, lay it down flat, line this up with the bottom, and then just Follow that up like so. Again, start from the bottom, and that way, if you've got any overhang on the top, you can just trim it away. But I'm I'm happy with that. Okay, then I'm going to decorate now this strip here. So I've got all of my letters, and I'm just going to evenly space those out. And these are self-adhesive, but because I'm sticking it onto the cardstock, I will add some glue. But it, when I'm sticking the snowflakes actually onto the acetate, then I'll just use the, the adhesive on here because that will stick quite well. But just with the card, I just worry that it might lift over time. So I like to lay everything down first of all. Make sure I'm spelling it correctly. So I kind of get them roughly, you know, evenly spaced just so that that way when you go to stick it all down you know that they're all in place and you're not going to start sticking and then stick them too close together and find out then you've got a quite a big gap at the end but I'm pretty happy with that I think that's good so now I'm just going to take the backing off of these it's pretty easy to do there we go and I'm going to use the Kalau glue because it gives me a nice amount of wiggle time so I can always move them a little bit if I need to. I'm now going to just stick that one down there. And keeping that same gap, I'm just going to work my way along. Okay, so I'm really happy with that. That looks great. So now I'm just going to stick that down. I'm going to use some foam. So this is my Arteza very long roll. It's very good, very sticky. Take the backing off and this will now kind of strengthen the whole card and will still be able to fold flat. So fold it down this end uh, flat and that way you'll be able to line up the corner there. I'm running this right along the corner and then just stick it down so again keeping that side folded whatever side you open so that side's open that side's folded then when it goes over that side's folded this side's open but by doing it that way you can make sure that it all lines up and then again if you've got anything overhanging I've got a little bit on that side I'm just going to always cut from the back and that way you get a really nice finish 
and there we go isn't that cool so now I'm just gonna arrange all of these pieces so I've already put foam on the back like I said if you do want to see me color them then you can check out the Facebook live which will be linked below but I've got the little Mary there which I've already heat embossed so we'll pop that down um, I think I put it yeah just above the eye slightly off to the left there there we go and then I'm going to stick the snowflakes down first of all so then I know the area I've got to play with beautiful snowflakes absolutely stunning so this one's going to come off slightly at the top there again turn it over at the back and just snip off I think it's only that one yeah like so and then I had this one it's going to go just here and then I've got the smaller one it's going to go just down here and then the main image, which is the snowman, and I've been informed that he's called James from the story. So he's going to go just there. And I love the way it creates the shadow behind. Can you see there? I love that. I think it just, yeah, simple things. And then I'm just going to take the backing off of the owl. Now the owl I actually popped inside. So again, you're just creating that scene, that background and the foreground. Pop it on your pokey tool and that way you can kind of pop it in here and you can just move it around, position it how you want. But I'm going to have him kind of just there. Just push that down and then these lovely two here, so I've got the hare and the fox, are just going to sit as if they're sitting on the top of the word Christmas there. So just, and I, the foam's the same height as the foam that I've used to stick this down, so everything it's all lined up. That just balances everything out and completes the card. Isn't it gorgeous? I really am very pleased with this one. Okay, so let's do the envelope. So I already have my envelope for that one there. Okay, so you need a piece of 11 by 11 for this size and it's on here and it's your six by eight. You can see just the, the second one from the bottom. So a piece of 11 by 11 is telling me my first score line is at four and seven eighths of an inch. I'm gonna pop it in and I'm gonna line this up with the four and seven inch, eighths of an inch marker. Punch and score, okay. I've got the older board, it doesn't have the extender arm but you don't need to worry about that. Get it down as far as you can. I then like to do exactly the same on the opposite side. And I find by doing it this way, I always get perfect results. And again, so you'll see now we've got these notches and these partial score lines. Then you're going to work on the other two sides. So pop this one in, ignore all of this now. All you want to focus on is this notch lining up the corner with this score line. There's a score line here. So I'm bringing it up so it lines up this bit here perfectly with the score line. Punch and score. And you'll see when you score, you meet the corner perfectly there. And then I'm going to repeat on this one again, ignore all of the top corner there, lining it up this here, punch and score. You got a little bit of waste there, which you can just get rid of, but now you have this piece and just pop your stylus back in there. Next, if you just burnish the four sides, and then I'm going to use my red tape because I've got it at hand, I'm just going to run some tape along each of the sides and make sure that's all stuck down well and then I'm going to make one of my bouncy envelopes so all that means is that you put the card inside the envelope first before you stick it down so you'll see now when you pop it on its side it will fit perfectly within the center there of the envelope next bring in the sides and you will bring them over any bulk that's in the card because obviously there's a little bit of dimension to this but by bringing it over you're creating a bit of a bounce to the envelope so I'm just going to take the backing off and then I'm just going to bring up the bottom and then stick it down okay now if I take this card out see it's got a bounce so now you know that that's going to fit, rather than you making it without putting the card in first, that would be quite flat to the, you know, it would be just a very flat envelope and you would probably find you'd struggle. What I also say is whenever you've got any kind of decoration is always then put it in the envelope so it's facing away from you and that way nothing's going to catch on all of these pieces. But you'll see now, 
it just goes into there perfectly. And then I'll just finish off with a little bit of tape on the top. And now that's all ready for me to seal once I've you know, wrote inside the card. So again, I'll just pull that one out. There you have, I've got two beautiful cards with matching envelopes. And uh, like I said, one of them I'll keep in for myself for a while and I will sort out something nice to pop on the back there. I will probably die cut some more of the snowflakes, pop a couple of them on the back there. And uh, like I said, yeah, I'm going to display one and, give and send one to a friend. So thank you for watching. I will link as much of the product as I can in the description box below and I'll be back very soon with another tutorial. See you.